In his very first months as a trainer, there was a telephone call from America. With laughable bravado, a young American amateur jockey, Tommy Smith, wanted to bring over a hunter, Jay Trump, and to win the Grand National. Fred responded to the outrageous dare. Okay. It was a bleak English winter, and what's more, there was an epidemic of coughing around the Lambourne stables. Every convenient. Fred rowled and taught and chivied. Smith cosseted the quarantine J. Trump, their sights only on entry. The rest of the world thought all three of them potty. It was one thing to qualify for the national, another to get round intact, quite another to actually win it at the very first sighting. Winter plotted horse and boy round every hoof print on the course. Okay, we'll see what these tracks are right here, that would do. But you're going to get horses jumping across a bit in front of you. You've got to take a chance, there's no one. Smith listened. Then, one three o'clock at the end of March, he and Jay Trump were on their own. across to the right. And they're off. Ron Dodo just a little bit slowly away, but he's all right. And as they run down towards the Belling Road, it's Peace Town, Beltrix and Cullen House and Feeble on the inside. Brown. Jay Trump, for America and Lambourne, and all eccentrics, kept surviving. Freddie, for Scotland, was carrying all the realists' money. I come towards Canal Turn 9. It's Rondetta, the leader. Being worried by a loose horse. They're going on the inside. Rondetta from Peace Town. Pontingo is third. They come Freddie and Lockerer. And Pontingo to fall. J. Trump just behind the leaders. Heading now towards Valentine with Rondetto four legs to lead. Freddie in second place. J. Trump is now in third place. Rondetto, great jump there. In the lead. J. Trump just behind. Here in Peace Town. A good jump there. Freddie and Rondetta has gone. Rondetta to fall and lead. Freddie in the lead. There comes the dark cap and J. Trump for second. On the outside is Peace Town. All the group together come Tom P. Reproduction, Maltrix, and also Rainbow Battle. Now the last of the ditches, North Bells from home. Peace Town is tiring on the outside. And it's Scotland from America with England third at the moment. It's Freddie for Scotland on the inside of J. Trump for America. And these two are somewhere ahead of the towering Peace Town with Rainbow Rattle. Rainbow Battle trying to get on to us. And Maltrix is making ground. And so is Mr. Jones. It's Freddie and J. Trump to go. They're over. Stein for Stein. These two are in America and Scotland. And they race towards the last bit. And the first to come under pressure is Freddie getting a slap there from, from Dan McCarran. And it's Tommy Smith on J. Trump who jumps in ahead. It's J. Trump, the leader, from Freddie, the favourite in second place. J. Trump going away from Freddie now. Rainbow Battle has jumped in third. Mr. Jones is fourth. And it's still J. Trump holding Freddie as they race towards the elbow. There's another 200 yards to run. And it's J. Trump. Smith's magnificent obsession had come to pass, and Fred Winter, in his very first year as a trainer, had shown he was still the master of Aintree. And just to prove it, he was to do it again the following year on Anglo. So it was rather a fairy tale start, and uh, you've got to make the most of those sort of turns when they come your way, you know. 